hey, are you in a plateau and you just feel like you haven't got better in like a year and your placements for like the whole year have been like the same and you just cannot break through that barrier of skill that you want to? Watch this video the whole way through and I can definitely help you with that. So like as an ex semi pro Fortnite player, whatever you want to call it, voice-itch as I had like freaker earnings. So I was like definitely okay at the game and I had a lot of experience in it. I can definitely tell you guys, there were like periods of like a whole year where I was just stuck in the same skill level, not breaking through the barrier for example like for a whole year or so i'll just be like calling heats every time but not placing good in heats at all and i'll just be stuck in that little position for like a whole year until i did this one thing and then boom i'm calling every grant every season now this is a harsh reality and truth that you need to overcome but that should be expected because nothing good is going to come without doing stuff that others aren't willing to do so they fall behind and you run ahead in terms of skill now if your skill is plateauing or decreasing it's because of your day-to-day -day activities and habits because obviously that's what made you good in the first place so it would definitely make you bad if it's bad so what do you need to change in your day-to-day -day activities probably everything if your skill is plateauing your routine or day-to-day -day habits might be okay or fine but you do not want fine or okay when it comes to fixing a plateau unless you want to stay that skill forever you need to entirely or mostly change what you do on a day-to-day -day basis this may include but not be limited to changing the people you hang around and talk to what you spend your time doing when you're on your pc the quality and focus you have during the time you're on your pc and even your real life health and mental health now let's go into the first point i talked about what's the deal with changing around the people you talk to or hang out with i remember back in the day when i grinded fortnite so many times i'd just join a call with someone just because i like talking to them but eventually they just distract me and then we just end up doing some like minus 1v1s or even like going into some hide and seek creative map or something like that whatever it is i knew going into call with these certain people were just like decreasing my skill and improvement and even though this sounds harsh you need to do harsh things sometimes usually the things that are going to make you better are going to be hard to do and cringe but whatever you want to push through this plateau of skill and the only way to change that and do that is to change your day-to-day -day activities now also quickly on this point you actually might find yourself in a friend group that's also unmotivated and always doing something else and being really distracted and obviously they're going to eventually influence you into the same thing and yes get away from this even if you are good friends with them because this is going to stop you now what's the deal with the next two points that i'm talking about on how you spend your time when you're on the pc and also the focus aspect on that well probably the biggest thing that you're doing that is impacting if you're in a plateau or not is what in the world are you doing with your time each day you're on your pc you may get on your pc like six hours roughly a day and you get on like do an hour of Kovacs then like a big warm up and then play scrims or arena or whatever well whatever it is right now if you've been in a plateau for like a year then you definitely definitely need to change something dramatic about that even if it does seem perfect there's so so many details to this but the one important tip that i can give to you that will help across the board is that you should aim to like move and place your routine and day-to-day -day activities around the goal of placing a tournament and i know that sounds dumb because that's obviously the goal but a lot of the time you find people just practicing the skills of the game and not the specific skills that are most important for a tournament and what do i mean by this stuff it's more important to do like realistic 1v1s against good players while practicing like a really safe and methodical play style and then scrimming and then vod reviewing that compared to like having a big warm up playing heaps of Kovacs, 1v1 build fighting people, getting good mechanics. And yeah, those things can help, but there's definitely more important things. So I'm just saying, if you've been in a plateau for a year, this could be something to think about. Just for like a good example of this, if you do have like a big warm up, you play heaps of Kovacs, like I've talked about before, you can actually condition and train yourself into not having to warm up much. And to do this, basically, you just stop warming up much and you just instantly go into 1v1 realistics when you get on. And when you do this, you practice a slow and methodical play style as you would in game and then what you do from this is basically you just condition yourself into not having to warm up so you can get into good practice as quickly as possible and when you're warming up you're also playing 1v1 realistics with the solo methodical playstyle which is what you do in game so you're obviously going to only be practicing stuff that is going to be directly useful for tournaments and then basically i'll probably just go straight into scrims from that and if scrims aren't on maybe solo arena like the talked about before solo arena is really good and then maybe after that just vote of you and then get off 
One more thing about this point is your focus during this time that you're on your PC. It is definitely way better to be on your PC for five hours and be super focused throughout the whole five hours compared to being on your PC for 10 hours and just being like kind of half focused but still kind of trying. You actually might want to get on a bit later than usual in some cases. If you do this and get on a bit later, you'll notice that you'll be way more focused for the more important practice, which is scrims, which usually happens in the later part of the day. And then that extra couple of hours you get from getting on your PC a bit later, you can use to improve your mental and physical health. Which segues onto the next point in this video that I'm trying to make. Your life outside of Fortnite. Your life outside of Fortnite heavily, heavily influences your gameplay and your performance levels. Have you ever been in a really good mood in the day before you get onto your PC and then you do get on your PC and you just play super insane in the scrims or tournaments and you're just super focused? That is direct evidence of this. I remember once before after I spent like a few days going outside and going into nature and stuff and then playing a duo cash cup like the day or two after, my mind was just in this insane like focused mode and I just played way out of my mind better than I ever do. This is because physical and mental mental health heavily linked to performance like I said. What you want to do to achieve as much mental and physical health as possible to boost your performance in Fortnite is try to live a life outside of Fortnite that is like as natural as possible and that includes but isn't limited to going out into nature doing cool things and going on adventures working out especially weightlifting but still like any other working out is good obviously and also like cold swims and showers are great as well for this. <music> Remember, if you want your skill and placements to improve drastically, you also need your day-to-day -day habits to change drastically. 